50, many children are placed in orphanage, orphanages and foster care. Can you imagine growing up in an institutional care? I can. However, I can relate to how those children might have felt during that time of their life. Imagine being in a place with 500 boys or girls with barred up doors and windows. You're surrounded by woods everywhere. Um, you sleep in one room with them. You eat in one room with them. You shower in one room with them. It doesn't sound too appealing to me. That was everyday life for my grandfather until he was 14 years old. Um, his dad was an alcoholic, so couldn't really take care of him. Placed him in the orphanage, in the orphanage, and my grandfather, when I was 13 years old, wrote me these letters. There's two packages in here, explaining basically his childhood. Um, my background, when I was two years old, my parents got a divorce. The reason they got a divorce was because my dad was very abusive, he was an alcoholic, and he couldn't really support our family. Um, from the time I was two till I was 12, I did not have a relationship with my father. I felt abandoned. Um, very insecure about myself because I didn't have a male figure in my life. Um, and I can assume from these letters my grandfather felt the same way. Um, and it was kind of ironic the day I was deciding to write my speech about my grandfather, my dad called me. And I had not talked to him since Christmas two years ago. He called me and uh, he apologized to me for not being in my life and told me that he wanted to have a better relationship. My grandfather, when he eventually got out of the orphanage, his aunt got him out when he was 14 years old. He didn't have a relationship with his father either. Then he explained to me in the letter that God came to him and God said, fix the relationship with your father. So he obeyed, he did what God told him to do and went to see his father and his aunt told him, your dad is in the hospital. My grandfather went to the hospital and said, I'm here to see um, my father. And the nurse called to my great grandfather's room and then told my grandfather he did not want to see you. My grandfather left the hospital, went home, and was like, God, why would you tell me to go to the hospital, fix things with my dad, if he doesn't want to see me? So God said, try it. He went to the hospital the next day and begged the nurse, just let me go in here. The nurse let him, and my grandfather went and explained to him what God was telling him to do, and my great-grandfather denied that there was any God, and he was on his deathbed, so my grandfather came to see him more and more, and eventually my great-grandfather was saved two weeks before he died. So all in all, it is never too late to fix a broken relationship, and um, my grandfather's story helped me a lot in fixing the relationship with my father.